The Spaniard has posted a picture on his Instagram account, which was taken at a charity day in Austin, Texas. A number of his Live Golf colleagues feature in the photo. Amongst them, Ian Poulter, Henrik Stenson, Dustin Johnson, Patrick Reed, and Brooks Kepka. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at how Sergio Garcia just leaked the next big Live Golf signing. Yeah, you heard it right. Also in the photo is Carl Schwartzel, Taylor Gooch, Eugenio Charcara, Joaquin Neiman, Abraham Anser, Jason Cockrack, and Kevin Na. The Chilean has been heavily linked with a move to live after an impressive season on the PGA Tour, during which he came within a whisker of winning the US PGA Championship and finished 50th on the FedEx Cup standings. Liv is yet to officially announce any new signings for the 2023 season, but according to CEO Greg Norman, the Saudi-backed circuit is keen to add seven new faces. Speaking to the media during the recent season-ending team championship in Miami, Liv president Atul Kozla added that the tour is keen to get its business done before the end of 2022. We are in the middle of the discussions, he said. We're gonna get it done this year. We want the teams locked in by the new year. It'll play itself out over the next couple of months. Sergio Garcia's concerned messages about signing up the controversial Saudi-backed Live Golf Series have been revealed, stating that some stars were shitting their pants. The breakaway event has dominated headlines ever since it was conjured up. 11 Live Golf defectors, led by Phil Mickelson and Bryson DeChambeau, filed an antitrust lawsuit against the PGA Tour last week. The PGA Tour banned the players from signing up for the breakaway tournaments, with the 11 Rebels claiming that they are being punished for playing in the event. And now, WhatsApp messages between Garcia, who has joined Live Golf Series, and event CEO Greg Norman have emerged. The exchange has uncovered in the lawsuit, showing the Paris conversation about the possibility of Live Golfers being suspended by the PGA Tour. I just wanted to see how things are going with the league, because it seems like a lot of those guys were loving it and excited about it last week. Now, they're crapping in their pants. Garcia's message read on February 11th, as revealed by Golf Magazine. Norman replied, Morning, all going very well, I have not heard the white noise of crapping their pants. Who are you referencing so I can run a check? Garcia expressed his fear that some of the younger players were successfully scared by the PGA. If you have names, I can reach out to them. Norman said in response, In regards to the tour, if they were going to ban players, they would have already. They know they cannot, hence no action outside of verbal threats. If you can get them, or any player threatened, to get it in writing, that would be fantastic. Thanks. Major players have and continue to be tempted away from the long-established tours by the ludicrous sums of money on offer, with the breakaway being backed by $2 billion of Saudi money and the total prize money pot across eight events amounting to around $205 million. Garcia's concern about being punished for deferring to the live tour continued on February 17th. Interesting to see how insistent Norman was in these texts with Sergio that the PGA Tour wouldn't and couldn't suspend players. They cannot ban you for one day, let alone for life. His message read, It's official, Torres told our managers this week that whoever signs with the league is banned from the tour for life. I don't know how we're going to get enough good players to join the league under these conditions. What do you think? But Chief Norman was not worried and reassured Garcia that the PGA Tour cannot inflict that punishment. They cannot ban you for one day, let alone life. He responded, It is a shallow threat. Ask them to put it in writing to you or any player. I bet they don't. Happy for anyone to speak with our legal team to better understand that they have no chance of enforcing. Who said there would be a lifetime ban? And to whom? You or your agent? What are they saying specifically? Important to know these facts. Also, I'll get something to show you why they cannot. Garcia explained where the threat came from and expressed his doubt over being able to get it in writing. The commissioner had a meeting with the five or six biggest agencies of golf managers, mine included, and first told them that if any of their players had signed with the Live League, that they should leave the room, and after that, they talked about what the PGA Tour is going to do going forward and that whoever signs with Live, they would be banned from the PGA for life. I would love to get it in writing, but I doubt they'll do that. The Spaniard wrote back, the Saudi Rebels bombshell lawsuit has claimed their suspension from the tour would cause their careers irreparable harm. The lawsuit read, As part of its carefully orchestrated plan to defeat the competition, the tour has threatened lifetime bans on players who play in even a single live golf event. It is backed up by these threats imposing unprecedented suspensions on players, including the plaintiffs, that threaten irreparable harm to the players and their ability to pursue their profession. PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan previously responded to the lawsuit with a terse memo to his players in which he referred to 11 of your former colleagues suing the tour and continued to refer to Live Golf as a Saudi Golf League. 
Monaghan said the players knew the consequences of signing up for the rival league. We have been preparing to protect our membership and contest this latest attempt to disrupt our tour, and you should be confident in the legal merits of our position, Monaghan wrote. Fundamentally, these suspended players who are now Saudi Golf League employees have walked away from the tour and now won back in, he wrote. It's an attempt to use the tour platform to promote themselves and to free ride on your benefits and efforts. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.